largest restaurant publication in the world. And we are so excited to be back here with you every Wednesday interviewing awesome people from our neck of the woods, business people, um, people in the service industry. We have so many great people. So I want to remind you to go get a coffee or a cup of tea, whatever makes you smile. I'm going to give you some time to do that and we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Enjoy. Okay, we are we are back. I am back, and I hope you're all here with me. Um, I want to make sure that you know that this is an entertaining and engaging show. So we want to hear from you, our uh, wonderful readers, our uh, restaurants. If you're not open right now, let us know how things are going. Again, I'm Gail Hamlin from Coffee News in St. Catharines, Thorold, and Niagara-on-the-Lake. And today is oh, a little bit rainy, but that's okay. I love rain. It's it's in my blood because, you know, I was born across the pond. Um, and uh, so I love sharing my Wednesday mornings with everybody because of how many wonderful responses and replies and comments we get. So if you ever want to be a guest on the show, I am going to put up the link that you can write that down there and uh, and keep that for, uh, if you want to join us today, you're welcome to. We have a fabulous guest today. And I'm so excited to uh, get to that interview. So now that it's 9.03, I'm going to get right to that. So first, I'm going to read everybody's talking from the coffee news. So here we go. I'm going to pull that up here. And you know the drill. If you've been here before, you can read along with us. Uh, just, you know, don't cheat on the trivia questions, okay? Um, all right, and my timer's working there, which is great. So here we go for August 31st. Yes, the date of each publication is the Monday of each week. So this is the edition for the whole week of the first week of September. And 
a sponsored brought to you today this week by Darcy Richardson Real Estate. She's uh, fabulous. I have sent personally uh, several people to get their new houses or sell their house to her. And wow, the feedback I've been uh, I've had back from her is um, uh, from the people that I've sent to her is amazing. She is awesome. Uh, and you won't know until you call her and see the difference for yourself. So do that. Uh, if you are not already on our mailing list, you can do that at the bottom of this page. The link will be in the comments. So our first story, no privacy. A hotel proprietor in Fukuoka, Japan, is banking on making money in a unique way. Tetsuya Inyo runs Ashahi Ryukan, and he wants to boost business. So he decided to allow people to pay a mere 100 yen per night to stay at the hotel, provided they agree to be live streamed during their stay. The live streaming does not include audio <laughs> and the bathrooms do not have cameras. Inua hopes that enough viewers will be interested in watching people give up their privacy that social media hits will rise, thereby allowing ads to be shown on the channel, allowing him to make more money. So 100 yen works out to $1. So if you want to go see more about this, go to YouTube at uh, $1 Hotel is, is the name of the uh, YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, I, like I wouldn't feel stressed over that not at all actually i have had cameras in my in my home before um i was homeschooling as a single parent and tvo was doing a uh documentary actually they used to do a show called planet parent family if anybody remembers that you know i'm aging myself but it, it was back in like 2002 um, and so we had the TVO cameras in my home for a week, uh, documenting the life of a single parent homeschooler. So yeah, that was exciting. I, and I'd love to see if anybody comes across or can find it online, I would love to see that again, because I know it aired, uh, October 31st in I'm pretty sure it was 2002. So uh, if you come across that in your travels, let me know. Hit me up. All right. Uh, thank you to our wonderful sponsors. If you need a pet sit, 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 pet cared for, that's it. Uh, call Anita from Pampered Kitty and Pooch. And Coffee News, of course, is the original social media, 30 years uh, 1988, 33 years, um, started in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and it snowballed. Uh, Jean Dom, who started Coffee News, did not know that it was going to be as popular as it was. She did it because she was sitting at a restaurant, bored, reading the back of a sugar packet, and said, there had to be something better. And she did that. And today, her daughters, her two daughters, still operate and run it internationally, um from winnipeg manitoba so there you go a little bit of trivia there needed a friend everybody's talking an elderly man from chichester west sussex england should be enjoying his retirement <laughs> instead ian hammonds is spending a few months in prison <sighs> a pair of criminals convinced hammonds who once worked as a burger van driver, to be their driver as they committed crimes. The gentleman's lawyer said Hemmons didn't realize that the criminals uh, only wanted his services because of his advanced age was a perfect cover. The lawyer said that Hemmons was simply lonely and wanted someone to talk to. 
Unfortunately for Hemans, the judge didn't buy Ari either argument. So yeah, if you're bored and lonely, watch us. Read the coffee news. You know, hey, we'll put you to work. Just give me a call. <laughs> Got lots of safe legal things for people to do. Um, all right. And skimming down here. Oh, there's. And this is our partners. Uh, not in crime, but in, in fun and talking to people. The River 105.1. Niagara, uh, your local news source. Yes. And you should be tuning in when you're at work or when you're at home. If you like the the top of the pops, the, the good, fast music, it's my favorite, I got to say. However, my husband is the perfect person for 101.1 more FM um, because he's more into the classic rock Um stuff but uh, so something for everybody's style absolutely and we'll talk more about that a little bit later um unicorn cafe now this is toronto as well because there's one in toronto but this one is in bangkok thailand people who have a love of unicorns can visit a cafe designed to honor these fictional animals located in the salome area of bangkok thailand uh, the Unicorn Cafe offers multicolored magical experience. The place is full of stuffed unicorns of all sizes and colors, and the furnishings are come in pastel hues. The food lives up to the theme. For example, guests can order rainbow spaghetti carbonara and a fruit beverage, and then they end the meal with waffles covered by colorful ice cream and sprinkles. Sprinkles are my favorite. To top it off, guests can pretend to be a unicorn by donning a unicorn, <laughs> sorry, a unicorn uh, onesie provided uh, during the visit. I, I have to laugh at that because um, I was involved with an, uh, a service organization uh, and we had a big dinner and you know this is about 30 30 years ago um, I actually made a unicorn outfit and uh, and and ran through the dinner uh, with people trying to catch me uh, as the unicorn so yeah it, it, it's another story for another day uh, okay thank you again to our wonderful sponsors here um especially rachel uh rachel from clean with bear if you missed our interview a couple of weeks ago you need to go back either on youtube or facebook because we simulcast um and catch my interview with her boy what a wonderful woman in the niagara region to have helping everybody during this time and providing excellent cleaning products and edible arrangements, of course, of course, and agua fresca. All right, our next fabulous story from Everybody's Talking, Wandering Bull, kind of scary. It looks like a Croatian bull named Jerry will not end up on anyone's dinner plate. Jerry had been waiting to meet his demise when he somehow escaped from the corral and ran into the woods. Later, some local people saw him on the hill, but the 295 kilogram, 650 pound bovine ran away again with his owner, police, and even a drone operator searching for him. Word got out and local people started looking for him. Since Jerry has managed to evade capture, his owner says that if found, he will make sure Jerry enjoys a long life because he's earned it. <laughs> All right. Isn't that a tale of escape and hopefully he stays escaped? I don't know. Check it out. See if he's been caught yet or found. Found. Better word. Uh, don't forget Hayes at Haven Dentures. And if you're having trouble with your feet or don't want to have trouble with your feet, call Ange. 
at Home Foot Care, and of course, Santino at Impact Promotions in Thorold. Okay, so right now, we're going to have our fabulous, fabulous guest. I cannot wait. I've been so looking forward to this. And I'm going to go back up here to our, uh, our what I was talking about, our sponsor stations here. Um, our sponsors and our partners make it possible for Coffee News to be here. And hello, Scott. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to take you off mute here. Hello. There. Now I can hear you. And now I'm going to do this. All right. Welcome, Scott Lum, to my studio from your studio. <laughs> and um, I'm going to let you introduce yourself and tell us what you do and uh, and why we should be listening to the radio. Oh, well, thank you, uh, Gail, and uh, good morning. Uh, I've only been uh, with uh, the operation here in Niagara uh, for about a month, in fact. Uh, I worked for Burns Communications and was uh, managing uh, a station in Oxford County and now managing uh, the two stations here, 101 Moore FM and 1051 The River. So uh, it's uh, been an exciting uh, month so far. We have lots of things uh, that are happening and that will become evident to, uh, to everyone within a couple of weeks because we're we're making some subtle changes, nothing uh, that's going to be huge, but things that are going to be noticed by listeners uh, and, and will be visual as well. So we're pretty excited. <laughs> um, nonetheless, uh, we have the two stations here. We have More FM, which, uh, as you mentioned, uh, your, your husband likes to listen to it, skews a little bit more to, to the male uh, side of things. Uh, probably 30 and over, and it plays hits of the 70s and 80s and more, as we like to say. And then there is 105.1 The River, uh, which is a AC station. So yes, we play a little bit more of the uh, of the adult contemporary, uh, skews uh, definitely 25 and up uh, female audience. And uh, it is definitely, uh, it's a popular format uh, in the world. And uh, we, uh, we get a lot of good listenership. Our, our streaming numbers are, are through the roof. And, uh, and we, we enjoy both uh, these stations. It covers the entire Niagara region. Um, uh, you know, there, one is, you know, we're located in Niagara Falls, but we hit, you know, St. Catharines, Fort Erie, uh, the falls, and uh, certainly more, more especially hits uh, heavily into Buffalo as well. So we have a, a wide range uh, region um, with uh, a lot of ears. And, uh, and we have a lot of fun. It's a, it's a good group of people, small but mighty group of people. So we're doing well here. Yeah, I um, have to say, I love, I, I never thought I would say this because I thought, you know, like a lot of people I, I've talked to, they're like, oh, the US, we don't want US content, that kind of stuff, right? We want Canadian content because sure. we get too much US already. However, I have to say that I have become a true fan of your two morning people who are awesome and and give us a little bit about them and how how great they are together people have to listen to them they're fabulous absolutely i mean morning mornings are you know it's how you start your day if you know, when your day gets started if it starts off positive then in theory it's going to continue that way and uh on on the river greg and marie are a very popular duo uh and greg's been in the radio business for a long long time he's also the program director so he's responsible for the sound of, of the station and the music and, and everything that goes with it and marie multitasker multitasker <laughs> big time and marie even more so because she's uh she's doing news as well uh mm -hmm. all morning starting super early uh you know and getting the news out to everyone as well uh for both stations so she's incredibly busy as well in the morning but together uh they have uh, very uh fun uh personalities that you know um whether it's talking about uh about the day-to-day -day lives or what they did in the region or or uh you know children and and getting them ready for back to school and all that kind of stuff i mean it, it really is all about bringing their personalities and their life into the homes uh, of listeners and they do a great job of that and they are and they are a lot of fun and they are a popular popular group as well and then of course i, I agree with you uh very much gail that it is important to have the local people on radio and we've seen you know a trend away from that uh in a lot of markets uh in the last couple of years or so you know as the industry faces its challenges um and you know, we, you know, we we don't want to do that in the morning, so that's why we we definitely have a strong morning show. And and Mike Allen on more as well as a you know 
locally guy here and he comes in every morning and, and he's local and lives in the area and, and that's key to us. Now we do run John Tesh, of course, on the river in the afternoon. So and I not- never listened to that before, but now I'm listening to the river. I love it. Yeah. It's such a great upbuilding, positive, great information, things I never knew, like the the quarantine chat. Um, there's that, that app I started as soon as I heard him talking about it, uh, the John Tesh radio show on your uh, station on the river, the, uh, I went on, I downloaded that app and it's been awesome to talk to people, random people from anywhere in the world. Um, so that's, it's always something positive, which is, uh, never something to put away. You always want positive in your life. Well, yeah, you're 100 percent right, and we try and do that as much as possible. You know, you don't, you know, the news itself can be can be negative, especially these days. So, we, you know, our job as uh, radio broadcasters is to bring positive uh, stuff into your life and information, of course, and uh, and to have fun doing it. And and absolutely, I mean, as you mentioned, Greg and Marie do that so incredibly well in the morning. As does Mike uh, on More FM, and uh, and Tesh Tesh is a is a probably uh in terms of syndicated radio shows the largest one in the world i mean i he's incredibly successful so we're lucky to have him in the market for sure um yeah. but yeah yeah so i mean it is all about having fun you're 100 but right. you guys you guys have a special um commitment to the niagara region and to the to the canadian uh market right so Tell me, I I understand that there's uh, like 200 minutes a day. Is that the the amount that ha- that is Canadian? And how does that differ from other stations? Explain well, that a little more. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, news wise, we do uh, on more. We do have uh, more news than anyone else. Uh, we, we we push that out. It's it's a tremendous amount of news, and we're and we're quite proud of that for sure. Uh, I mean, all stations have to have a certain amount of content, uh, and there's a, a certain amount. Of, some have a certain amount of news, some don't. It depends on your license. And ours, uh, on that particular, on 101, does have uh, more news than anyone else in the market, outside of you know a talk station, of course. Right. And um, and yeah, so we do. We do supply a, a lot of news, and we're proud of that um, on that station. And uh, otherwise, we stand. You know, we have the same rules as everyone else in terms of playing. Uh, a percentage of CanCon and, and supplying that sort of information. So, um, but yeah, in terms of news on that station, we do have uh, more than, than anyone else for sure. And you also pay particular special attention to local events, mm-hmm. which I think is, is fabulous because a lot of times, like for us, for printing, we, accept, we have an online calendar, but we also have our what's happening section mm-hmm. in every week of the paper. And we do need two weeks beforehand. But with you, um, people can let you know, like right up to a day before or whatever. That, yeah. Yeah. yeah well, for, I mean, to be successful uh, in today's market, I think, uh, and to set yourself apart, you need to be uh, local. And, you know, it comes with these challenges. It's a big region, but we try to cover as much local news and local events as possible. And certainly our websites are a big part of that. And, uh, you know, that's all part. Like, as, as you know, the same with, with yourself, digital and has to tie in with traditional broadcast, traditional medium, right? So uh, we, we do with 101 uh, morefm.ca and 105 theriver.ca, local news daily. Uh, we have weekend news as well. So we, we're constantly trying to keep information and news up to date because it is about local. So we're not going to... You know, unless it affects you locally, we're not gonna we're not gonna run on with national news um, right. because there's a place for that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we want to provide what's happening local. So yeah, you're 100 percent right. We try and do that as best we can uh, and stay on top of uh, what's happening happening locally for sure. Literally, I have been out driving around with my husband on a Sunday afternoon before COVID. Got to say, and we heard um, the local events and. Uh, and, and we just shifted gears and went to one of the events that we heard was on that afternoon. So it, it was really nice to, because otherwise I would never have known. And I mean, I'm a huge train junkie and it happened to be the open house for the train um, uh, museum. 
and mm -hmm. it was so awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to thank you for everything that you do there, and uh, and of course your wonderful morning people, and because uh, I know like I'm not an expert, I'm not a professional at this at all, but they are, and it takes a lot of work and uh, and organizing and troubleshooting and so much. So for people who want to advertise on radio, um, I have often and always, and this is why I always like being connected with a radio station. For Coffee News, we are a hand in glove kind of thing. So when people are driving around, listening to the radio, listening to 105.1 or 101.1 more FM, they will hear advertisements not a lot but enough to make it possible right and and genuinely i think you care about the advertisements and the companies that you're trying to promote so i hear that through the the advertisements so when people hear it on the in their car and then they get to wherever they're going the restaurant or whatever have you and they see a coffee news then it and they see the same company in, in the coffee news, then it's added value for that company because they are, you know, if you're listening to something, it might just go out, out one side of, you know, uh, you hear it and it's gone, but then you see it and it's reinforced. Mm -hmm. So I think radio and coffee news is, is a great, uh, well, more of them and, and the river is a great hand in glove kind of thing. Um, tell me, how advertisers, businesses in the local area can get in touch with uh, the station and who they, is it you that they would be talking to? Well, absolutely. So we have uh, three salespeople uh, currently uh, okay. who, who can help anyone. So, uh, and you can, you can get through to uh, Heather, Jason, or Brandon via the website, or you can simply uh, call, call uh, the numbers are on there. You can call the station. Um, or you can email myself, uh, and uh, that's the easy, easy thing to do. Um, and I mean, I'm happy to give my email, but I don't know if it's uh, we can put it up, but probably not. But it's, I, it's, I can. Is that the GM? Yeah, you know what? That's the easiest one. Is just GM okay. 1047.ca. Now I know that's a different uh, number than than our dial, but uh, it's our it's our dial in Oshawa County. But that is the easiest one to remember, I think. So yeah, you know, if, uh, if anyone emails me, we. We have uh, some really great sort of, I'll call it um, COVID specials right now, uh, which is kind of, you know, because it's been tough. It's been really tough, yeah. as you know, Gail, on on clients, uh, businesses that are trying to, to stay off and keep going, but still need to get their message out and let people know, hey, we are open. Hey, we're, we're, we're doing this. And so right. we really um, changed our uh, our rates and uh, and try to do things to to make it easier for branding for the for folks uh, in in the region, right? And, yeah, and I've often, sorry, I've often um, said in the demographics, ninety seven percent of all the businesses in the Niagara Peninsula are micro to small businesses. We are each other's customers. If we don't support each other, we're all dead. Yeah, no, that is that is so true. And and, and you mentioned it about the importance of. You know, being being seen, being heard, and it is important for for customers always to be you know out there. So, and a lot of people, I you know, are, are you know, because I know it's a tough time right now, and it's like, well, it's a lot of money, and and we we've really tried to to tailor it, and we'll work with you know any client to try and find a way to get them on the air and on the website yeah. uh, at a reasonable level, because we know it's uh, you know it's just not possible to go out and spend like crazy amounts of money on advertising these days. And we, we can appreciate that. So we try exactly. and yeah, work with them for sure. And you and I are both on board with that for, for sure, yeah. because it's, it's uh, vital to our communities. Is so. it? A, yeah, it totally is. Thank yeah. you so much, Scott, for being my guest this morning. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to talking to you soon. You um, I'm going to, Say sayonara for now and uh, have a great day. You as well. Take care. Thanks again. Bye. Bye. All right. That wasn't that wonderful. And please take it, take the opportunity, make the time. If you, you know, are running around today or if you're, you know, have a little downtime and you want to relax, 
tune in to the River 105.1 FM or 101.1 more FM in your car, at work, at home. You know, de-screen. You don't have to do it online. You can do it online. You can go to the station online and you can stream live from there. Um, but uh, you can use your radio on uh, on your phone. I know some people don't, and that's okay. I still have, for emergency purposes, a wind-up radio. So I, I wind it for like 30 seconds and it gives me 30 minutes of of radio so I have that in case of an emergency so you never know when the power is going to go out right all right so let's get back to reading our coffee news um and I gotta scroll down a bit here and then bring bring it up in the screen we are at quotable quotes so if you have a favorite quote that you love please share it in the comments so that I can share it with people because quotes are, are inspiring and sometimes confusing, but mostly fun. Um, I think my favorite one, because as I mentioned before, I was a, a homeschooling mom and uh, my favorite quote was from George Bernard Shaw, which, you know, Coincidentally, we have the Shaw Festival in Niagara Emily. But George Bernard Shaw said, and I quote, I am not a teacher, just a fellow traveler of whom you have asked the way. I pointed ahead, ahead of myself as well as of you. So if you are out there, you know, with your kids, um, doing some homeschooling, doing some home education. There you go. Don't worry about knowing everything. Just if your kids come up to you and say, hey, how do I do this? Don't worry if you don't know. Be honest. Say, I don't know. Let's go find out and teach them how to learn. So your kids learn how to learn. So they'll always be prepared to learn. All right and it will be a fun adventure for the two of you. Um, okay, here we go. When you have faults, do not fear to abandon them. Confucius, smart. Even the most fortunate have a lot of crumpled rose leaves under their 40 mattress, what? mattresses of ease. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that one up, Dorothy Dix. Even the most fortunate have a lot of crumpled rose leaves under their 40 mattresses of ease. That's a pondering one for sure. Okay. Please support our Coffee News sponsors and the sponsors on uh, the River 105.1 uh, and 101.1 More FM. These are local businesses that are there for you and they wanna hear where you heard about them. So don't forget, when you need something, shop local. Amazon is not gonna sponsor your Little League team. Seriously, they're not. But local businesses support local um, communities. And so think about that next time you're ready to push that uh, order online button. All right, we have our business referral networking meeting tomorrow morning. Uh, if anybody's interested, please give that number a call. It is on Zoom at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. All visitors welcome, just have to be registered. All right, and um, while this has finished, you should go check out the um, Niagara Pump House online, what, their fundraising auction and see what's going on there. All right, next we have our trivia. And trivia likes to be quiet and then appear and disappear. So here we are, the trivia. If you know the answers, drop them in the comments. And if you're watching on replay, do it anyway, because 
I watch all week for our comments and then see if anybody's won because we have some excellent gifts that are uh, almost $100 of value and you could win simply by answering the trivia. The small parts of a garlic bulb are called buds, seeds, or cloves. Number one. Number two, the Taj Mahal is located in what city? This number three, discovered in 1930, Pluto was downgraded to a dwarf planet in what year? I know that makes me mad too. It's always going to be a planet for me. But do you know what year it was downgraded? Is a chin wag a goatee or a friendly conversation? If you know the answer, remember, drop it in the comments. What is a toque blanche? Hmm, a toque blanche. And those are our five trivia questions for the week of August 31st in the Coffee News. Don't forget, check out Kia if you're looking for a new car. And Claire's if you're looking for a new bike. And if you need to organize things around your house, we have a virtual organizer. Julie does not only in-person, but also virtual organizing. And she helps me all the time. She is definitely somebody I go to to help me organize my office. And our games. Don't forget games. We always have lots of games. Um, all right. This is clean. And now we're on the did you know section of the coffee news. Did you know? If a person has insomnia, it means they have problems falling or staying asleep. Changing sleep habits, as such as not going to bed until feeling drowsy, and avoiding caffeine in the evening, can sometimes help. Sometimes I don't, I don't notice a difference if I have caffeine or not. Sometimes I like. Uh, a coffee before bed, but usually tea, but tea has caffeine too, right? Hmm. If you are tuning in, welcome and thank you for joining us. You can catch us on YouTube and Facebook and as always on the replay. We are looking forward to hearing what is important to you and last week I asked What's your favorite board game? A lot of families playing a lot of games uh, now, and I would love to have some games to share with other people. And maybe, you know, I've tried this before and it works. You can Zoom chat a board game. It's pretty cool. You should try it out. All right. Raspberry Jammed. Did you know? Raspberry lovers enjoy this nutritious fruit for its tart, sweet taste. A lot of countries cultivate raspberries, the top producers being Russia, Poland, and the United States. Mexico and Serbia are also big producers. Well, I gotta say, I didn't know. Okay, painful subject. Did you know? Mexican artist Frida Cajo was known for painting colorful, surreal self-portraits that revealed her pain. She was married to the famous muralist Diego Rivera. Forced rule. Did you know when a country has a government, usually military in nature, that has taken control by force instead of through election by the people, the new government is called a junta. Did you know ancient 
communication. An early and ancient system of writing is Egyptian hieroglyphics. This system is seen as the ancestor of writing systems used today. Uh, Egyptology is, a, how many of you loved Egyptology as a kid and still love it now? Amazing thing. Just love hieroglyphics. It is a hobby. Um, and of course, our fabulous sponsors, without whom we would have no coffee news. Oh, auctions, two new auctions posted uh, this week that I saw in an email. So yeah, check that out. Auctions dot estate sales Niagara. Don't miss out on the goodies. And on the lighter side, what can you give and keep at the same time? A cold. Yeah, you know, or COVID. Yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Drew, it takes me an hour to get to work in the morning. Avery, before or after you arrive? How many telemarketers does it take to change a light bulb? Only one, but it has to be while you're eating dinner. <laughs> What's another word for thesaurus? Fred went down the street to a 24-hour grocery store and found the clerk locking the front door. Fred said, hey, the sign says you're open 24 hours. The clerk said, yes, but not in a row. <laughs> if you have a bad joke, as long as it's clean, a dad joke, a pun, whatever, put it in the comments so that we can share it with everybody else. This is the show of sharing. Coffee news, where you get your coffee or your tea, and today it's my Tim's cut mug and mm, and my cinnamon stick. So it's always a nice little addition to a hot drink. Is that cinnamon stick? And if you haven't already, if it's not a right pool, it's the wrong pool. And people have think that print is dead. And I have to say this, 90% of adults in USA and Canada read magazines and newspapers. We're human beings. We like the tactile, we like to be able to pick something up and, and read it. And, and then it doesn't disappear. Like one of the things I, I love and hate about being online is that advertisements are there for a second and then gone. And if you did want to follow it up, you might miss it. You might not have it, see it long enough. Myself, personally though, I don't shop much online, but I do research online. And so if you research online, just check locally because you might not find local shops online because like Scott said, it's expensive for businesses to advertise. And especially now when it's been so hard on businesses, try to get local. Go to Google Maps, look up your business there. And if, if they haven't got their business um, uh, registered uh, under their own name or uh, if they don't um, have a lot of information, call them up. Say, hey, I tried to find you on Google. That's free. They can like fill up that Google listing uh, so that pe more people can find them. Let's do our part to help each other by liking and sharing uh, content from local businesses. If you have a relative that works somewhere, uh, which most of us work somewhere, um, make sure you, you like and share their social stuff, but also give them a, uh, a, a testimonial or a reference, um, what am I trying to say? A recommendation, that's it, a recommendation. Let people know what they're good at, why you trust them. That can all help local businesses. So if you would like to subscribe, you can do so on, and I have to pull this open to do this. Wow, that's big. 
He hasn't adapted yet. Whoa, let's see if I can get it to, okay, there we go. Okay, now, when I scroll down here, this is the online version of the Coffee News. Um, oh, something came up there. That's already gone. All right. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page, and you can enter in your name and your email address. And when you click Submit, your information will allow me to send you the Coffee News to your email every week as soon as it's done. So if you would like to read the coffee news along with me or come on the show, please reach out to me. Our website is stccoffeenews.com. That's our website. And if you would like to read along, it is stc coffeemuse.com slash oh got to do that right there are two c's make sure you put in the two c's because that is the common problem when people are trying to find their website and they find somebody else's coffee news site because coffee news is a franchise so it's everywhere um our version is online and currently we do not require a subscription some people some coffee news publishers require a subscription before you can access the coffee news and we'll have to see if that's something that uh, that we need to do before we start printing again so we will be printing at the end of this month. So I want to make sure that everybody gets out there and picks up the coffee news wherever they see it and takes it home with them. Do not leave it for the next person because we don't want multi-touch. That's dangerous. We want to be safe. We want our readers to be safe. Pick it up. Take it home. If your kids like doing origami, they can recycle it doing origami. If, um, if you need a, a liner for your bird cage after you read it <laughs> after you take down the phone numbers of our advertisers that you may want to uh, call that's another way somebody went oh artists artists love using our um, recycled editions of coffee news for phenomenal works of art I'm going to try to get one of those artists on the show um, because we do love recycling. So I think we're going to, uh, to end a little early today. Please like us on Facebook. And uh, yeah, if you would like to add to or be on the show, you're welcome to, to do that. Please get in touch with me. And I want to thank Scott Lum again from The River 105.1 and More FM for helping us understand a little bit more about how our local radio stations help our community and help us be positive. So enjoy your day and have a lovely week. Until next time, bye for now.